How do you understand this forecast? Expect cloudy skies and about a 50% chance of rain. Does it mean half of the area will see rain? It will rain half of the day? As it turns out, neither of those are right. The probability of precipitation, pop, or chance of rain has been used in public forecast for over 50 years, yet studies show that many are still confused about what it actually means. So let's clear that pop problem up right now. The accepted definition used by meteorologists is the likelihood of a measurable amount of precipitation during a specified period of time at any given point in the forecast area. A lot to take in, but the big takeaway is that it is a point forecast, not an area forecast. It's not 50% of the area will see rain. It's not 50% of the day will have rain. It's a 50% chance of rain at a specific point. Your chance of rain changes if you move from your house to lunch, out to the store, or to the beach. So the question is, why show it at all? Well, there is a reason. It allows us to express confidence in our forecast and to include the inherent uncertainty with weather forecasting. Without it, we have two options, rain and no rain. We determine that chance with a simple equation. Chance is equal to the confidence that precipitation will occur somewhere in the forecast area and the coverage of that rain. For example, if we are positive that a system will drop rain over 60% of the area, we have a 60% chance of rain. But if weather models that we look at disagree with one another, which they usually do, our confidence can go down. If we have confidence, 50%, that 80% of the area will see rain, we get our chance of 40. We understand that it may be confusing, but unfortunately that's the limitations of including uncertainty in a forecast with a single number. The best solution is to turn to trusted sources that explain the weather instead of focusing on a percentage. For your moment of science, I'm Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon.